The worst of the COVID-19 pandemic is long gone, or is it? The pandemic did not just bring illness. It brought with it a plethora of accountability challenges. President Yoram Museveni on April 3rd called upon all Ugandans from far and wide to come to the aid of the government to donate items and money. And donate they did indeed. Dozens of companies and individuals came out to support government with items, food items, healthcare items, sanitizer, and various other items, including hard cash money. All this money and all the items went to the National Response Fund to COVID-19, which had just been created during the pandemic itself. And it was under the office of the Prime Minister, then Dr. Wakana Rugunda. Various reports have been written about the COVID-19 cash. Accountability reports about how this money was spent at a time when the entire country was in dire need of aid. Most of these reports remain shelved somewhere, and the country is moving on to something else. But we at the African Institute for Investigative Journalism have opted to open these cold files. My name is Daniel Lutaya, and I've been combing through these cold files, and this is what I found. The government borrowed approximately 3.3 trillion Uganda shillings, and that was 7% of the 2020-2021 national budget to finance COVID-19 response activity. 491.5 million US dollars, which is approximately 1.8 trillion, came from the International Monetary Fund. 300 million dollars, which is 1.1 trillion shillings from the World Bank, and 31.6 million US dollars, approximately 115.5 billion shillings from the African Development Bank. The government also received gifts from various international partners, which include the European Union, USAID, China, and the US, which was worth millions of dollars. Similarly, the Ministry of Health received 25 billion from the Emergency and Consolidated Fund, shillings 94.1 billion in supplementary budget and 109.7 million in kind and cash contributions from the public, private, and development partners. Overall, the budget for the multi-sectoral COVID-19 response from March to June 2020 stood at 2.2 trillion shillings. But how did government spend all this money? The COVID-19 interventions report authored by the Budget Monitoring and Accountability Unit of the Ministry of Finance, Planning and Economic Development, authored in October 2020, reveals gross irregularities in the procurement and expenditure of the COVID-19 cash. The report reads, and I quote, Although over 300 beds were moved from Nambole, quarantine center then, to Mulago Hospital, the latter acknowledged receipt of only 290 instead of the 300 beds communicated. The report adds that Mulago Hospital also received 108 mattresses, which were not commensurate to the beds provided. Three of the beds were already broken and left at Nambole. This company, JMS, supplied 2,000 single-sized bedsheets at 51,500 shillings each, whereas all beds and mattresses were reportedly delivered by this company to the Mandela National Stadium Nambole COVID-19 Treatment Center. The Ministry of Finance actually reveals that they only found 331 beds and mattresses. Those are the only ones that they could verify during the report. Now on to the infamous COVID-19 tents at Nambole. For the 20 tents, government paid 3.8 billion shillings, and that is 163 million shillings for each tent. Whereas the contract between government of Uganda and MS Lumias Uganda Limited stipulated 20 tents, only 13 were signed and installed at Nambole. But that's not all. Even the 13 that were signed and installed at Nambole failed to work because they were too weak. The specifications were just not good enough to accommodate patients at Nambole. Another 3.8 billion shillings down the drain. These COVID-19 accountability files have remained closed for about two years now. They still have lots of question marks hovering over them in a shelf where they continue to gather dust. 
These questions, however, remain unanswered.